Hello, good morning. It's Thursday the 6th. I'm FX Plue and this is the Market Brief. So since Andy Haldane predicted a V-shaped recovery, the UK data has largely supported his view. The economy seems to be recovering nicely and Sunak's schemes were a success. But that was then and this is now. Yes, sterling is pretty well supported against the weaker dollar. And yes, the data continues to show recovery of sorts. But now we have a second spike looming and the government's ability to support the economy, especially if we need to go into another lockdown, is being seriously questioned. The numbers remaining on furlough remain worryingly high. Forecasts for GDP recovery are getting longer and longer and resources for any additional support are drying up. But the market ignored all that and sterling reversed its recent slide. We reached 131.60 against the dollar yesterday, reflecting renewed concerns over the US economy. This broke a three-day losing streak and we opened this morning around 131.75. The dollar index dropped again yesterday. We saw a low of 92.50 there as gold hit an all-time high. The gold, of course, is the go-to asset in times of global uncertainty. And while it's been pretty subdued for the last decade or so, with equities hitting record high after record high, COVID has really perked up demand. This has also been helped by the US demonstrating precisely how not to deal with a pandemic. They've been late to every significant event along the way and with many states still reporting rising cases, the spread seems barely under control. Meanwhile, Congress still haven't agreed a replacement for the coronavirus relief bill, which expired last Friday. They're beginning to look more and more like the EU when they were dithering over their pandemic relief fund. That said, I doubt the US dollar reaction to any agreement will be anywhere near as strong as the euro rally that we've seen since the eurozone agreement was reached. Most data points in the US are slowly improving, but employment data remains the only real focus right now. Later today, we have the weekly jobless figures due out, which are unlikely to be pretty. Uh, as new claims have started to rise again. Then, of course, tomorrow it's non-farm Friday. So with the gold spike and dollar, the dollar resuming its downward trend, euro dollar cracked on higher once again uh, yesterday. We touched a high of 119.05 um, and this morning we opened just off that level around 118.95. Right, that's it from me. Uh, Have a think about your non-farm sweepstake guess. I'll be tapping you up tomorrow. Join me again then. All the best. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.